Hi, this is Bill over at Major Hiker. I was recently out on a day hike using my U.S. Army uh, three-day assault pack. So let's take a look and see what I put inside. All right, we're gonna open our pack up now and see what the contents are. We're gonna start by opening the front compartments here and then we're gonna work our way to the main compartment. As you can see, they have these Fastec buckles, uh, very solidly made, heavy duty buckles. Solid YKK zippers, uh, standard on military packs these days. On the front here is can be used as a admin pouch or for other loose items that are going to be needed. So inside here I have my multi-tool. This particular multi-tool is the Leatherman Rev. I chose this one to use today instead of my Gerber. It was a little bit smaller and a little more light. So as a result, I went ahead and put that in the pack. Moving to the second layer, there's a few more items in here. Inside is my 100% wool beanie cap, sometimes called a watch cap. Also in here is my headlamp. I have it inside this uh, Princeton Tech case. Uh, very handy to have. To put your headlamps in uh, when you have them in your pack. This particular one is by Black Diamond. I appreciate uh, this particular one because it's waterproof and has different settings including a high and low. I just really appreciate this. This is just, for me, a solid headlamp to use and have in my pack. Also in here is some Gorilla Tape. The reason I keep it in a plastic bag is uh, this type of tape. This is the one inch Gorilla Tape black used for repairs and the reason I keep it in a plastic bag is uh, when it gets warm the glue tends to get a little sticky and I don't want the glue to get on other items in the pack and the adhesive for this tape is also bad for this type of quarter material as it uh, is hard to clean off once it gets on there so I try to keep these in a plastic baggie to protect uh, the other items in the pack. Also inside here I have a little fishing kit that I picked up at uh, Walmart. Uh, this one has sw uh, swivels, uh, weights, as well as hooks in it. So it provides you a pretty good combination. Also in here I always keep some foot powder. This is the particular foot powder that I like to use uh, when I'm out on the trail uh, to keep my feet uh, taken care of. Always got to take care of your feet when you're out hiking and backpacking. I also carry the miniature version of the Lofty Wiseman SAS Survival Guide. This is kind of a standard amongst backpackers and hikers uh, because of its small compact size. However, as you can see from the advertisement in the corner, there is an iPhone app. And those that have the iPhone probably have this downloaded so they don't need to carry this hard copy. However, when electronics goes down, it's always good to have a good hard copy backup of a manual like this if you're so inclined to carry something like this in your pack. So the SAS Survival Guide is always a handy hard copy uh, guide to have in your backpack. I also carry some insect repellent. It's always good to have, especially when you're uh, taking halts and stopping so that uh, if you need to spray yourself or add some additional uh, repellent to, to yourself, it, it, especially during the summer and spring uh, when insects are really out, uh, this is just good to have in the front part of your pack. I 
Also some good wet ones to have. Keep your hands clean, keep your face clean, and also for other personal hygiene items. Uh, always carry a good first aid kit. I like these. Uh, these are very good. I enjoy uh, the variety that's in here. These are by Adventure Medical Kits. Uh, these are the same ones, the same company that provides the medical kits for the people on a loan. Uh, just a good solid uh, kit to have in your backpack. And it's, I don't carry my military trauma kit in here unless I'm going out for uh, further, going out for longer in the field, but for pretty much everyday use as well as for day hikes is just a good solid first aid kit to have in your bag. Then my lock sack here is my emergency uh, personal emergency kit. Uh, this is uh, something that is big enough that I can keep in the cargo pocket of my pants if I want to carry it there as opposed to in my pack. Uh, we'll do a review on this at another time but this is just my uh, personal emergency kit that I carry in a lock sack bag. Also keep a set of hand warmers in here as well. Uh, these hand warmers can be used for other things other than warming your hands. You can use them uh, to warm your body uh, by placing them uh, between your legs or under your arms or in the small of your back. Uh, should uh, you need to warm up and find yourself getting overly cold, maybe potentially uh, the early onset of hypothermia. That should be needed on a day hike, but I always want to be prepared, so I always carry something like this with me in my pack. For my water treatment, I just carry the Sawyer water straw. I carry all the components in here. It's nice and compact, so I just keep it in this uh, Ziploc bag. By the way, when it comes to Ziploc bags, the freezer rated, the ones that are rated for the freezer are the best ones to get because they're the thicker material and a little bit more waterproof in my opinion. So when I need to use a Ziploc bag and I don't want to spend the extra money on a lock sack set, then this is what I buy and use in my packs at all times. Okay, we'll make our way to the main compartment now and see what we have in there as we unlock these. And we'll flip it around and see what we got on the, on the straps. Inside, I have a clean canteen water bottle. Just a good solid bottle to have. I don't want to like carrying these on the outside of my pack. And since the particular uh, way that I dress for these day hikes. Uh, it's definitely not something I want to keep on my belt. So uh, this is just a good canteen to have. 27 ounces, uh, single walled stainless steel. Uh, always keep a little bit of water in there. Thing to note in the winter time, uh, just for those that may not be aware, never fill your canteens up all the way to the top as they may have a tendency to freeze depending on the weather and the time of year you're in. And so you want to keep a little space uh, there in your canteens, whether plastic or stainless steel, because you don't want the uh, ice to expand and cause cracks and breaking in your water container. So, clean canteen is what I got in this one. Good stuff. In here is my Guide Series Gander Mountain rain jacket. Always good to have a nice packable rain jacket in your pack. I also have a 511 lined packable jacket that I'll wear in uh, more uh, inclement weather. Uh, however, uh, for this particular hike, I just had the rain jacket. It was projected to be clear, and it was, so I just took this with me. You can also uh, use rain jackets as a type of warming jacket as well as a waterproof jacket, depending on how you dress. Uh, in the hike, I was wearing a hoodie zip-up sweat jacket, so if I got a little bit cold, I could take this out and put this on for an additional layer 
and it would work out just fine. Learned that little trick uh, in infantry school and the Army. Good stuff. Always carry my limb saw with me in case I get stuck for some reason and have to make a hasty shelter or uh, collect up firewood and break down wood for fire. Just a good uh, item to have. This particular uh, length of this uh, folding saw is uh, 10 inches. However, this is not no. This is no longer made by Fiskers. Uh, they went decided to stay with the seven inch. But this is just a good solid limb saw. I enjoy it, and it works for me. Others want the more expensive kind, and that's okay. That's uh, but whatever works for you. Good to have a good limb saw in your bag. For my survival knife that I carried. This was the uh, Becker uh, BK2. This is being sheathed in a Spec Ops short tactical sheath with a Kydex insert. I enjoy this knife. Uh, I like it for the versatility. Uh, in the front here, I have a sharpening stone. But also inside there, you could probably put additional survival uh, kit type items like fish hooks or extra cordage uh, or fire making material but it's just a solid sheath to have on me I like it that I can it's molly compatible as you can see here just a good sheath to have Miss Becker BK2 knife is a good solid knife I enjoy it I keep it well oiled. I try to keep my knives taken care of at all times. Uh, the specifications for this particular knife are a little bit of mineral oil uh, due to the 1095 uh, high carbon steel nature of this knife. However, this is not particularly a bush crafter because it has this coating on it and it doesn't have a, a, a Scandi grind that's uh, the preference of most uh, bush crafters. But for hiking purposes, this is a good solid uh, knife to have by your side. As you can see, one other drawback to this knife is the fact that it does have the coating on the spine. If I was going to use this for a bushcrafter knife, I would just go ahead and file off uh, the spine and, and uh, expose the spine uh, for its natural metal and just keep it well old and taken care of. But again, for just for hiking purposes, uh, day hikes, a good solid knife to have in your kit. Inside here for my shelter, I carry some extra stakes with me. particular shelter I have has uh, shorter stakes that come with it as part of the kit, but I decided to get some extra longer stakes uh, for inclement weather and for windy uh, situations to just provide that extra uh, little hold into the ground uh, when I'm setting up my shelter. This is my shelter, just a single man tent, very compact as you can see. This particular one is built by the Nemo company, a little on the expensive side, however uh, I picked this up at a yard sale, so it was good stuff. Uh, I enjoyed it, I've set it up a couple times already and I really enjoy it, it's good solid stuff. Nemo does a good product. In here, is my in here is my trusty poncho for added shelter. Uh, learned to use uh, ponchos for shelters while I was in the military and just have bought into uh, that as a use as well as a waterproof uh, material. This is an army specification poncho. There's some commercial ones out there that are not quite as durable as been pointed out uh, by some other people but this is uh, one uh, that I picked up while I was in the military and this is just a good solid poncho and I use it and I keep it in my pack at all times for my sleep system 
I keep the SOL escape bivy again for just day hikes you don't need to carry a full load with you but if you should find yourself stuck out in weather or you find yourself uh, stranded or injured for some reason and you need uh, some emergency shelter uh, beyond uh, the tent uh, you also got this escape bivy and this comes in really well uh, to have and it's nice and compact and I enjoy it okay that completes the main carpet uh, uh, correction that completes the main compartment items and we'll turn around and see what we've got because there is a couple of additional items that I carry uh, on the outside of the bag here all right as we've Flip the pack around on the outside on a on a non-load bearing D-ring. I keep these Petzl uh, lightweight leather gloves. I always like to carry work gloves with me wherever I go. These particular gloves were designed by Petzl for mountain climbing, so they got a good, sturdy, durable leather uh, palm and fingers. I just enjoy them. They're very comfortable. And they don't weigh a lot, and that's why I have them in my pack. On the front here, uh, in this uh, surplus uh, Molly gr grenade pouch, I have my compass. And this is the military lensatic compass. I've used it over the years. This Other people like base plate or orienteering compasses, but I enjoy this compass. Self-illuminating. And I just carry a compass wherever I go. When I'm in the field, I just don't leave home without it. It's like my American Express card. I always have a compass with me. Well, that concludes our loadout review of my U.S. Army surplus molly assault pack hope you enjoyed it check out the links below uh, to see some of the gear that was featured in this video as always a uh, like and subscribe we appreciate uh, you checking us out so hey just want to leave you with this thought to stay safe stay prepared and eventually i want to see you out on the trail <laughs>